Welcome to another episode of Big Lee's Corner. All right, in today's race, Kyle Busch had some fume problems and could have died today. Okay, what I have an issue with is some people are wishing he would have died or bullshit like that. Or when Ryan Newman's car blew up, somebody wished Kyle Busch was in that car instead of Ryan Newman. Yeah, I appreciate you care for Ryan Newman, but goddamn, that's it too close to home. I mean, if it was a day the guy wasn't in this situation, that would be a different story. But even if not, I wouldn't wish the death upon this guy right here, the number one guy I cheer against, Jimmy Johnson, the number 48. Now, I admit, I don't know if I said this on Big Lee's Corner yet, but the main reason I cheer against this guy was because of a political statement he made. But I do not wish death upon him. Now, we all have our jokes. I have my Chase Elliott jokes. Backlashing about the Joey Logano jokes. People have their Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski jokes. Okay, we disagree on that. But I'm a fan of both of those guys. To be honest, if I got paid a nickel every time somebody bashed Joey Logano, I'd be able to buy the Logano and Matt Kent's up the crashed up cars from Martinsville 2015 when two of my favorites... We're in a feud. But anyway, there's the Jimmy Johnson car out of the pack. A Darlington car, if I remember correctly. Yeah, of course, the idiot I am. A drunken idiot, I might add, after having three Ice House Edges and two King Cobras. That uh, could I not remember the box says so. Yep, it's Darlington of 2015. Now, to be honest, I do wish for this car to get wrecked, but I wish for Jimmy to be okay. I don't wish death upon Jimmy, or Junior, or Chase, or any of the other Hendrick drivers. I just cheer against that team. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. I'll try to have a nice day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.